my name is Catherine Pratt. I'm a reference librarian at the Minnie Reese Library at the Graduate Center. In this video, I'll be offering a short answer to the often asked question, what's the GC network ID and password that I have to have to sign into online resources? When you first click a link to a library resource like a database or an individual article, you're going to see a page like this. But CUNY gives you a lot of usernames and passwords, so which one are you using here? There's some helpful information down here at the bottom, but if the print is too fine there, just keep watching. Your GC Network account is used for a few specific things at the Graduate Center. You'll need it to use Wi-Fi or to print on campus. You'll use it to sign into the interlibrary loan system, and probably most often you'll use it to access the GC's online library resources. So what is that network ID? If you're a GC affiliate, it'll be the first part of your GC email address. You chop off gradcenter or gc.cuny.edu. It's most likely your first initial and, the th and your last name. Uh, if you demonstrate with a sort of fanciful example, if your name is Je suis une personne, your email address is jeunepersonne at gradcenter.cuny.edu, and your network is jeunepersonne. The only time that will be different is if there's already a Jean une personne at the, grand at the grad center, in which case we'd add a number. It might be J une personne too. Note that this is not the same for SLU students and staff. Your graduate center network ID is your MPLID, that eight digit number that CUNY assigns you. So now, what is your password? You might still have it in your email if you've uh, joined the Graduate Center within the last 18 months. IT did send you an email with your with a randomly generated password for your email and the network. Uh, but if you don't still have that, you can always reset with the self-service password reset tool. Now, this is a tool from IT. It has been updated and upgraded, and if you've used it before and found it difficult, it's now much easier. You can find that tool in a couple of ways. If you're on this screen, there's a link down here to the self-service password reset site. If that's not where you are, you can navigate to the tool from the home page of the Graduate Center. So from this page, you'll go up here to the GC portal. Bunch of, there's a bunch of useful stuff here, including a link to your email. But here is the self-service password reset. Now, if you're an SLU affiliate, you can't use that tool. You need, you'll need to contact SLU's IT department directly. An important note for GC students, again, not for SLU students, Resetting your network password also resets your email password, so you'll need to update your email password when you reset your network password. If you still have a password or username problem, it probably goes beyond what you can manage yourself, so contact your respective IT services. If you have other questions about the library, come to the library site and ask a librarian. Or you can check out our other videos and resources.